what's up y'all um i'm back this is kind of just like a life update because i haven't really done very many videos in the last six months obviously it's been cold winter everything gets put up not much to do here in indiana so life update we got cadillac behind me now uh it's all pretty much finished uh truck's got its wheels back on it all nice and covered up freshly polished ready to go but all in all got those two squared away i'm on the lookout for a trailer for this thing um i'm gonna haul with the big truck and trying to find at least like a 24 to 26 foot uh trailer but the thing is is this thing's like 81 82 inches wide so it's either gonna have removable fenders or I'm either gonna have to do a deck over type trailer or something else. But I prefer to not have a deck over. Um, I'd like to have one with like removable fenders or something obviously a little wider because I don't wanna get the wheels. That's the, that's the biggest thing. So I know a lot of people haven't seen the Cadillac yet. Um, the Escalade, it turned out amazing so um she's happy with it so that's all that matters and she's gonna go to shows with me so we'll pretty much hopefully be parked side by side now um but still looking for a trailer if you know anybody let me know also if you know anybody that needs some six on five and a half um chevys um sure there's other brands that have that bull pattern too but 2416 JTX silencers, um, freshly polished before I slap them on and then get dirty again. But really, they're looking to sell those. I want to change up the Chevy look. It's just going to be kind of like a daily setup. I'll probably slap some black wheels on it instead. And then get a trailer. Then I'm also on the lookout for another vehicle, but that is just kind of a secret right now. So, um, yeah, let's get a look at this uh, caddy. It's going to be in the garage, so you're not going to really see a whole lot of it, but I don't really want to pull it out. you got to move two vehicles to get that one out. So with this Cadillac, obviously anyone that does know Young Dolph or Atlanta Custom Wraps, uh, they are the ones that did Young Dolph's wrap. So this is a actual authentic Young Dolph wrap. Um from Atlanta Custom Wraps. It's kind of dirty. It needs wiped down. But um, it's all done. Um, we got it back last week or so. And we put the 26 inch Fortiatos on it. Um, got some 305 30 26 Venoms on it. But they do float. Um, they don't spin, they float. There's a big difference there. So. Obviously, you won't see them spinning. You'll see them just floating in the wheels when they're driving. Um, but we did uh, we did the orange accent set up. Some people do the blue. We did the orange. I think it looks the best. And we didn't change it. We kept it the OG color. Not like all these other people that are like changing to pink and whatever other colors they're doing. But this thing, it's reverse leveled on 26s. We got some mats as well um i'll have to unlock that to show you those um we have banff wheel lights in there as well and then there is 16 rock lights under this thing as well this thing is honestly brighter than my truck but i have some amazon special lights on that thing i'm not that worried about it but the uh indolf we trust for the steps which is pretty player and then uh yeah so i think helena all in all they did a killer job on this thing we're gonna get her all shined up hopefully we can find a trailer before music city because that's the next show we go to is music city but yeah the the escalated it turned out killer she's happy with it i'm happy with it um it's still usable. It's We can hop in that thing and go anywhere with it. Um, it's a good family car as well. So, got that. 
truck, of course. Um, I planned on doing more with the truck over the winter, but we did the Escalade instead. Um, so next year, we might do something more with the truck. I don't know. I might sell it, too. So who knows? All in all, um, this is really my first video back. Uh, it's starting a spring session. So we're going to obviously hit as many shows as we plan to attend to. Definitely not hitting as many as we did last year. Going to try and hit these shows together now. Um, she'll be at every show that I'm at. Uh, I think we have a list of like eight or nine shows we're going to. Um, not as many as we did last year for sure. Um, more so like for the how the shows went. Um, and also like distance and things to do. So there's a lot of shows out there that obviously they've had to move to BFE, you know, in the middle of nowhere just to have a show because the cities don't want them. Um, so there's really nothing to do out there. Um, I didn't really go to these truck shows to just hang out at the truck shows all the time. I go to enjoy myself and obviously have a good kind of like short vacation every month. So we'd like to go to Music City. We like to go to um, Smoky Mountain. We like going to any of those like shows that where there's like stuff to do outside of the show. Because when it's just the show, if the show sucks or the show is disappointing in any way, like it's kind of boring. So like, I'm not going to name any sh names or name any shows, but there was quite a few of those where like was not put together well, I should say. And there wasn't much to do. And there's nothing to do in the city. There's nothing to do in their little town. So it's just, it's, you go to the show for however late they have it open and you go back to your Airbnb and there's, the, that's about it. You can have fun at the Airbnb, but that's about it. So we'll definitely be shortening the list. I've already posted on my Instagram kind of the list of shows we're going to. I've added two or three to that list since then and taken one off. So, um, staying close, you'll probably see me a lot of like the Midwest shows, but anything far East or far South or far West probably won't see me yet. I'm going to stay kind of local this year and just have a good time to at the shows where there's things to do. But you know, you can only look at the same trucks so many times before you're like all right it's time to go so we want to leave and go have fun in town nashville for example we there's all kinds of bars there's all kinds of restaurants there's all kinds of stuff to do um i'd say probably the best show that i went to where there was absolutely nothing to do in a town but it was put to well or put together well was blake's blake fitzgerald he put on a fucking killer show and it was his first show I didn't make his show this year. I will be there on his second show. I had my kiddo's birthday, the first his first show this year. But we went to his very first show, very first time doing the event, and it was killer. The town, not so much. There ain't much to do out there. But he put on a good show, and he left the burnout pit open, let everybody stay there as long as they wanted to. So, like, I kind of respect that, you know what I mean? He knows that there ain't nothing going on in that town. So... He allowed us to use his property and his stuff to live it out as long as we could. So, but with the life update, I guess, of the last six months, it's basically all it's been. It's been working, figuring out parts and getting that thing done, I guess. Um, other than that, I ain't really done much. Um, we're about to hit Music City here in two weeks-ish. And that'll be the first show we go to. So you'll see us there. See how that show goes, obviously. But I'm more excited for Nashville than I am the show. But it is what it is. And if you guys got some good shows out there that are, you know, somewhat local to Indy, uh, let me know. Um, we might go out to them and see what there is. But we will see you guys at Music City. Um, Obviously, that's the first show we'll be at. We got gold lot passes there, but 
I will catch you in the next vid. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Um, also, follow my Instagram, TikTok, whatever else. Um, it also helps. It helps me grow. So I appreciate everybody watching. If you made it to this point, thank you. And I'll catch you in the next vid.